Hi guys, Mike back here today at Columbia Ford in Kia in Columbia, Connecticut. Today I got another special review for you guys and it is the all brand new 2020 Ford F-150 Lariat Super Cab. Now before I get into the review, I just want to let you guys know on May 27th, I'm having another iPhone 11 Pro Max giveaway plus a $1,000 giveaway. So all you guys got to do to be entered in the win is hit that like and that subscribe button guys and again it's totally free to subscribe all you guys got to do is hit that like and that subscribe button but now back into the review i'm gonna do a quick walk around of the outside and then we're going to get in the inside i'm gonna show you guys what's going on underneath the hood and exactly what it has to offer and sorry that it's a little bit dirty guys it's uh been blowing around a lot of uh dust pollen I i'm not really sure <laughs> what you want to call it probably all of those things but uh yeah so i mean it's still shining really beautiful because this one is the all chrome package so there's quite a few different trim levels that you can get for the f-150 actually matter of fact all of their trucks so there's so many different trim levels. There's so many different engine types. There's so many different levels of these trucks that it's insane. Like, I know other manufacturers have a lot of different trim levels and everything. But I think Ford, by far, has the absolute most in their lineup. Now, I'm going to show you guys what's going on in the back. Now, you got your Ford badge right here. You got your backup camera. You have your Ford F-150 badge. And then right here, you got your trailering wire hookups. And then you have your trailer hookups. I don't know why I was pointing right there. Uh, I was going to show you guys. You got parking sensors on the back and on the front. So now what those do is when you're going in reverse or going backwards or <laughs> going forward and going in reverse, sorry. If you're about to hit something, it will alert you to let you know that you're about to hit something. So trust me, it's a really good f feature to have because, listen, I've had it in my truck since I bought it, obviously. And it has saved me probably a, a million times from getting into accidents. So that's what it does. It's a really good feature. And then right here, you got your EcoBoost badge. And then right underneath, you have your spare tire. Now, to get in the back of your bed, press that button underneath the latch, and then it comes down automatically, nice and smooth. Now, I'm going to put it back up so I can show you guys what the key fob does, which is pretty cool. So, you got your nice big Ford key fob. I really like their key fobs. I don't know. Bugged out. <laughs> so, you hit this button twice, and then the back door comes down, or back tailgate, I should say. Sorry, not back door. I don't want you guys to get upset that I'm messing up. <laughs> so you press this little button right here. And then you got a nice little step to get into the back of your bed. And then this right here pulls out. And then it's a little bar to get in to help you get in the back of the bed, which is pretty cool. So this right here is obviously your step to get in and this step is a cushion step so well there's not cushion underneath but there's a spring underneath it so that way when you step on it your foot goes forward like it's it's actually like really comfortable like when you're stepping up you're not just stepping onto something really really hard uh so you hold this latch to get up into the back of the bed and then you get into the back of the bed so now you have two different options you have the steel bed or you have the spray in factory bed liner bed. So now those are totally up to you guys. It's totally whatever your preferences are. Um, my personal preference is the spray in bed liner because it's just a lot nicer, I think. And it keeps your stuff from moving around and swaying back and forth and all that uh, crazy stuff when your stuff is in the back here. But uh, yeah, that's totally up to whoever buys this kind of truck or any truck for that matter because you do have the option for every truck manufacturer uh they give you two options the spray and bed liner like this and then they give you the all steel bed liner 
Now, I have a couple other videos up. If you guys want to go check them out, I'll put them down in the, in the description so you guys can go check them out. But uh, yeah, so you have plenty of different options. And again, that's something that you would have to take up with your sales guy. And here at Columbia Ford and Kia, they have a million different options. So they have something that will fit everybody's needs they'll fit their budget everything so this is definitely a, a one-stop shop over here you guys will definitely find whatever it is that you're looking for so right here you got your nice tie down hooks all throughout the truck so you can tie down whatever you need to tie down back here and then right there you got your back lights so you can see back here at nighttime and then you go go back down see the step goes in when you go down and then there you go. Now to put this down, you press the little button, then that goes down. You press this, that goes down, and then it goes right back in like that. And then this, just plop it up, close it like that, and then you're good to go. So pretty, pretty easy, pretty simple. And then you just put it back up, and then that's the back of your, your back of your truck. Now. There's your FX4 off-road package badge. And then this truck has beautiful 20-inch rims on the Wrangler tires, which are beautiful. I think this color on this truck and just the package that they put on this truck is just absolutely amazing. Now, another cool feature is this code on the side. Now, they give each and every truck that has this which i'm pretty sure all of the trucks have it uh but don't quote me on that i'll definitely find out for you guys so if you forget your keys in your car or in this case your truck you just type in the code that they give you in your manual and then your door will unlock and then you'll be able to get back in your truck with no problem i think that's one of the coolest features that any manufacturer has ever done and i'm pretty sure ford is the only manufacturer that does that so they definitely beat most other manufacturers by uh, a milestone. I, I think so anyway. And then you got your nice little step up to get in, which is also chrome with the uh, black ridges, which is pretty nice. You got all tan leather interior in here. Like they did an absolute perfect, perfect job on this truck. You got your tan leather right here on the door. You got your wood grain built into the door as well. Pretty cool. You got power locks, power windows, power side mirrors. You got memory seats and memory steering wheel, which I'll get to in a minute. You have your storage space down here. You got your B&O sound system all throughout the truck as well. You have 12-way power adjustable driver and passenger side seats with um, heated and ventilated front and passenger side seats, which is pretty cool. Um, then you have your... Now I'm going to get into what that memory seat is and the memory steering wheel, which is pretty awesome. For those of you guys that don't know, which I'm sure most of you guys probably do, but this is for those of you that don't know what it is. Now, you would program the seat the way that you want, right? As far forward, as far back, as far up, far down, whichever way you want to do it. You put the steering wheel the way that you want it, all the way down, all the way up, however you want to go forward, you want to go back, however you want to set it up. And then this right here, number one is the driver. Number two is the passenger. So after you program the seat and the steering wheel, steering wheel, sorry, I can't talk today. The way that you want, you would hold the number one button down and then that would program it into your truck. So that way every day when you get back into your truck and start it up, the seat and the steering wheel will form back to the exact position that you had set it up. Now, you can do it a million times if you want. There's no limit to how many times you uh, want to set your steering wheel and your seat up. Uh, it doesn't matter. I have it in my truck, and let me tell you, I've set it up one time since I got my truck, the first day I got my truck, and I've never changed it since because I've never had to because I got it to the exact way that I want it, and every day when I start my truck up, Bam, the seat goes the way it's supposed to and the steering wheel goes exactly to the point where I had set it up originally, which is awesome. I think that's one of the coolest features. I mean, some of you guys might not think that's like the coolest feature, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, right here is your electric park brake. So you just flip it up 
like you would uh, your window and then to turn it off you just put it down and then a little sign will turn on right there says break and then you turn it off by flipping it down and then it goes off and then right here is another cool feature so watch the watch the brake pedal and the gas pedal see it going back see it coming forward that's pretty sick right well that is for height adjustments so for tall people you would want to put the brake and gas pedal as far back or as far forward sorry and then for short people like myself you would want to bring it as far close to you as possible so that right there is one of the coolest greatest features i think i've ever had in my truck i have it in my truck as well but it's one of the coolest features that they've ever done in any vehicle now i think that's pretty awesome some of you guys might not but it's a pretty cool feature now i'm going to show you how to get into the hood which is right here show you real quick and it's got a 2.7 liter with a 10 speed automatic transmission let's get into this bad boy there we go so a 2.7 liter with a 10 speed automatic transmission guys now for a truck that is pretty awesome pretty awesome a 2.7 liter that's your gas you're gonna be able to go so much further on one tank of gas that it's it's insane. It's it's actually insane. Another cool feature that I love so much about what Ford has done with their trucks, they have LEDs on the headlamps, LEDs on the fog lamps, and LEDs on the tail lamps, which is pretty cool. The way that they line up is pretty awesome. So at nighttime, you know it's a Ford that's coming forward or coming next to you, wherever it's coming, because the lights light up like that in a square shape. It's pretty awesome. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys might, maybe you don't, but it's all right. I think that's a cool feature. Now you got your nice little sport performance hood right here, which is pretty nice. And then you got your nice full chrome front bumper or front, uh, front end, sorry. Uh, it's kind of loud back here because of the people that decided to do the lawn mowing right now. Of course, I would pick that spot where they would be doing that. Sorry about that. I couldn't think while well, those guys were... They had to go right next to where I was at. Mother... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, so back to the review. Now, you got your front view camera right here. You got your nice chrome front grille, which is really nice. And then you got your nice big tie down hooks, or not tie down hooks, wow. that They're really messing me up right now. Your tow hooks, it's really sorry. I'm really sorry about that, guys. Um, I can't even think straight right now with those guys going crazy back, back there. It's actually kind of making me upset right now. And then, you got your nice Ford F-150 Lariat badge right here. And then you got 360 camera views. So you got them right underneath both side mirrors, which is pretty awesome. And then I'm gonna show you guys the back seat. So this is how you get into the back seat. You got your handle built into the door, which is pretty awesome. And then you got your nice tan leather on the door and then your like light tan leather uh brown tan leather light tan leather something like that um sorry if you guys want to correct me by all means go ahead uh but it's brown leather tan leather i don't know his i'm colorblind probably so <laughs> so you got your storage space down here you got your power windows right here and then you got your nice tan leather in here which is pretty awesome One second, guys. Take this down. So to get into your back seat, you just lift it up like that. And then you got a nice little storage bin down there, which is pretty cool. And then show you guys the other side real quick.
course, these guys had to do this right now. Right here, you get into the this side door, like this, and then you got the same on this side as well. You got your brown leather with your tan leather interior. You got your power windows, and then you got your beautiful, nice tan leather back here as well. I, I think they did an amazing job with this color. Like on this blue, beautiful blue truck. And right here, the same thing goes. You lift it up with your arm and then you can put whatever you need to put down there, which is pretty cool. And right there, those are some mats for the truck. Show you guys what it looks like without it. So you get a lot of room in here as well, which is pretty cool. And right here, you got your nice cup holders. And right there, you got your charging outlets. And then right down here, you have more charging outlets, which is pretty nice. So they really did a, a really good job with this truck, guys. And then you got your step up to get inside of here as well. And then you got your brown leather with your tan leather. And then you got the wood interior door, which is, I think that's a really, really nice touch. And then you got your power locks, your power windows. You got your B&O sound speakers. You got some storage space down there. You got your 12-way power adjustable driver and passenger side seats, just like over there. You got memory foam built into the seats as well, which is pretty cool. Right here, you got some more storage space down there. And then look at that front dashboard. Like, how insane is that? I love the way that they built the wood interior onto the dashboard. It's it a really, really nice touch. And you got your handle to get inside. And then right here, you got your nice big glove box. So what else it has to offer is daytime running lights, fog lamps, LEDs, power adjustable heater powers, cold exterior mirrors, power sliding rear windows. It's got the trailer sway control, rear 170 degree door. It's got the 20 inch chrome wheels, which I showed you guys before. Those nice, big, beautiful rims. And then you have the sink with the eight inch screen. You have the Sirius XM, remote start, four pass app, rear view camera, pre-collision assist. You have lane keeping system. You have the four pass connect with 4G Wi-Fi capabilities and the hotspot telematics modem. You have gas charge shocks, intelligent access with push button to start. You have blitz with cross traffic alert. You have the auto stop start tech. You have the class five trailer hitch. And then you have advanced track with RSC and advanced security pack with a mounted side impact airbag safety canopy and center high mount stop lamp with SOS post crash alert system. So you get a lot, a lot of different options in this truck, guys. It's got a 2.7 liter with a V6 10 speed automatic transmission. So, like I said earlier, it's a very, very good choice, guys. If you guys are in the market for a truck, this is definitely something that you guys want to take a look at first. Now, there's so many different options. Like I had mentioned before, you can get quite a few different trim levels. They still make the V8s, but that's uh, for a whole different video. I just like the way that they did the doors. Like, yeah, it's not your classic door handle on the outside, but it's still pretty awesome. You just easily just open the other door, bam, just like that. I think that's pretty cool. Now we're gonna get inside and show you what's going on. This interior is just insane. I think this is definitely one of my favorite interiors. All right, so it is push button to start, like I mentioned before. You hold the brake pedal, push the button. And for some reason, it's not starting up right now. <laughs> finally started great <laughs> sorry guys yeah that was kind of crazy i'm not really sure why it was giving me a hard time starting but it's probably sitting too long because that's normally what happens when cars and suvs and trucks or any vehicle for that matter sits way too long it tends to do that but yeah guys so now we can get back into the review now all of your controls on your steering wheel are for all of the controls in your dashboard now to see your tire pressure, oil pressure, your tow haul, all of that great stuff. You just press these buttons right here and then you go to the right or left, whatever 
wherever you're at on the map on the uh, screen that is so if you're right here you could go left and then you can go into my view or you can go right and you can go into your trip you can go into your truck info your towing modes your off-road modes and then your settings so you got your cross traffic alert your driver alert your rear aid rear park aid your trailer blind spot control yeah that's right so when your trailer is hooked up to this truck it has trailer blind spot control so not only does your regular uh truck have the blind spot now for those of you guys that don't know what the blind spot is now perfect example would be if you go on the highway and you're trying to get over into the left lane and you put on your blinker it only works though if you put on your blinker so you put on your blinker you're going into the left lane and it automatically alerts you by sound and by uh beeping right here like it'll come up and show you like uh, a little yellow flashing light stating that somebody is in your blind spot so it's a really really cool feature to have now i didn't even know that they had the trailer blind spot control so that's pretty uh pretty cool as well so that was pretty new to me as well so that's pretty awesome uh but yeah all those controls right there are all set up right here into your steering wheel so that's pretty awesome right here you got your Bluetooth settings, so you can set up your iPhone or your Android phone. And then right here, you got your volume control for your radio. And then right here, you have your universal garage door opener, so you can program that into as many houses that you want, which is also pretty cool. And then right here is your power back window. Pretty awesome. And then you have your nice little spot where you can put your nice little stunner shades those gucci's those ray bands and then right here you have a nice little storage spot up there and then you got your bno sound speakers which is pretty cool right here you have your hill descent control you have your traction control button you have your hazard controls and then you got your blind spot control or not your blind spot sorry wow today is a really really rough day uh right here is your stop and start feature uh technology so now, for those of you guys that don't know what the stop, start, go feature is, now, every time you come to a complete stop, whether it's a stop sign, a stop light, wherever, your engine is going to turn off. Now, everything else is going to stay on, your radio, lights, everything else will stay on. Now, what that does is it's good for the fuel economy, it's good for the atmosphere, it's good for less pollution, and it saves you money on gas. It saves you gas in the long run. So, all really good features to have some people don't like it but you do have the option to turn it on or off now when i first experienced that feature on a car rental that i had i thought the car was broken like it literally like it was it was crazy uh and i was uh, i was uh, i was going on a road trip all the way to georgia from connecticut so just think about that like so i had to literally call up and figure out like why this car was having the same problems you know what i mean but it wasn't a problem it was just the features that uh they just started putting on the car that i was driving which is pretty awesome it's a great feature overall so but uh you do have the option to turn it on or off that's solely up to you right here is your camera views so you have 360 camera view that's the outside of your whole truck which is pretty awesome so when you're going in between parking spots you literally can see the cars and suvs or trucks that are on both sides of you which is pretty awesome so that's a really really cool feature right there you press that button you got your front view right here is your 360 front view and then you have your back camera view as well so i'm gonna put it in reverse and that is your back 360 camera view which is pretty awesome and then right here is your lineup for your trailer so you can hook up your trailer perfectly which is pretty awesome and then put it back into park now here are all your great controls for your infotainment screen you got your audio controls climate controls your phone settings your built-in navigation which is pretty awesome uh, that's always helpful you have your apps you can 
download apps on here, all that great stuff. And then you got your setting controls right here uh, for your navigation, your Wi-Fi hotspot, your Sirius XM, your sounds, all that great stuff, which is pretty cool. And yeah, like I said before, it has built-in Wi-Fi hotspot. So if you don't ever have service on your phone or say your kids are in the back seat and they don't got service on the tablet or whatever they're playing on that has the Wi-Fi capabilities, you could set it up through your truck and then it'll give them internet access. How awesome is that? Now right here, you have your two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive high buttons, or controls, sorry. And then right here, you have your trailering controls, which is pretty awesome. And then right here is your volume control, your radio control, or tuner control. Um, down here, you got dual climate control, which is pretty awesome. So perfect example of dual climate control is, say you wanna be hot on the driver, the passenger wants to be cold, vice versa, you wanna be cold, they wanna be hot, you can do that because that's the great thing about dual climate control, which is pretty awesome. Right here is your ventilated and heated seat controls for your driver and then your passenger. Now, ventilated seats, for those of you guys that don't know what that is. So, everybody's had that experience in the summer when their back is sweating like a million degrees and sweating, sweating, sweating on, and then when you try to sit up, you got all that sweat sticking to the seats, right? Well, in this case, that control right there for the passenger and the driver blows cool air and sucks all the hot air out of your seat. So that way, that doesn't ever happen. So that right there is an awesome, awesome feature. Right here, you got two more charging outlets, which is pretty cool. I like that wood grain display down there, which is pretty cool. So you just press that up, and then you got some storage space in there, and then you got your USBs right there to charge your iPhone, your Android phone, whatever. Then right there, you push that, and then it comes back to close, which is pretty awesome. And then you got your nice little shifter right here. So it is, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the tan leather and then right here you have press this little button right here and then to go into your different modes you just do that like a regular shifter and then your backup camera will pop open which is pretty cool and then just like your regular shifter you just shift to whatever you want to go into and then right here is your blind spot controls uh, which is pretty cool and then right here you have your a little storage space where you can put change keys whatever you want to put in there and then you right here you have your nice big cup holders which is pretty cool and then for those of you guys that are new to the channel that you guys are have never seen my videos i'm a really weird person i love center councils like i love i go crazy i don't know why i'm just weird everybody has their own little weird things that they like but i love center councils i think every vehicle every car suv truck all should have an excessive amount of space where you could put stuff. I, I'm just, I, I don't know why, I'm just weird. So you press that button, and then you have, look how big this center council is. It is insane. Right here, you could put your change, you could put a phone, you could put whatever you want to put in there. Look at this center council. Look at how far that goes down. Look how, look how long my arm is. Look how monstrous this center council is like it is insane nobody can argue with me on how insanely big this center council is i don't know why it's bugged out i'm crazy i don't know but it's it's awesome i love it i love it i love it ford has done an amazing job with this truck and then you got another little charging outlet down there which is pretty awesome yeah guys so it's pretty crazy like look at that center council again pretty nuts and yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video again may 27th i'm having that iphone 11 pro max giveaway all you guys got it in that thousand dollar giveaway sorry guys all you guys got to do is hit that like and subscribe button guys it's totally free to subscribe just hit that like and that subscribe button guys gotta go to the left gotta hit the like gotta go to the right gotta hit the subscribe go hit to the left go hit to the right go to hit to the <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, it's been a long day. Uh, but all right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe, and I will see you guys soon, guys. Stay safe, everyone. All right, guys. Real quick, I just wanted to show you guys real quick exactly what that 360 view camera does. Now, watch this. Watch me put it in reverse. You see that? 
you see the 360 view of the outside of your truck you see the parking right watch watch me go forward going forward going forward going forward now I'm putting in reverse see the lines right watch this your 360 view camera will not allow you to hit any vehicles on the side they won't allow you to hit anything for that matter and it will park absolutely perfect if you get into an accident with a 360 view camera you, you shouldn't be driving there's no way you should be driving but i just wanted to show you guys that feature how awesome is that and if there is a car or truck on the side you guys would see that as well so another awesome awesome feature guys but yeah i just wanted to show you guys that real quick but all right guys thanks guys so much for watching stay safe everyone